House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee probing employment racketeering in federal government agencies has said it will recommend the abolition of waivers to bypass advertisements of employment opportunities. The Ad Hoc Committee Chairman Honorable Yusuf Gaddi said this during the resumption of the investigative hearing on Monday. This was as he accused the Registrar of the National Postgraduate Medical College, Professor Fatu Arun Gundade, of lopsidedness in recruitment based on the agency's representation at the hearing. Honorable Gadi worried that almost all the government agencies that had appeared so far for the investigation were carrying out their employment secretly as they always applied for waivers to avoid advertising for various frivolous reasons. Recruitment was done to be able to fill vacancies across six geopolitical zones. We started operating the Medical Residency Training Fund and we intend creating monitoring centers in the six geopolitical zones. Unfortunately, when we were given the waiver, we didn't have uh, applications from these zones. They are supposed to be headed by, in fact, the caliber of individuals we needed for that appointment were at the level of consultants that are ready to shift from clinical duties to administrative duties to be able to monitor. Can, can we say you deliberately, you ask for waiver, and when you ask for waiver, you don't advertise. How do you expect application when you ask for waiver? No, no, no. We, 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 I'm sorry, sir. We, uh, we needed the waiver from the head of service or even employee in the first place. And when we got the waiver, there are conditions that are stipulated. For example, to get a consultant to function as a representative of the college in the six geopolitical zones, they must be fellows of the college, because they are going to be monitoring residents in training across institutions in that zone. Whenever waiver is given, you don't advertise and give opportunity to citizens of this country to have access to recruitment. Should you have waiver now, based on your decrease, retirement of staffs, and the establishment gaps that exist in your agency, would you think that National Assembly is not fair to tie your recruitment within the states that are not represented in your agency? Or in your wisdom, if giving you the opportunity, will you recruit people from the states that already have representation in that agency? on the floor of the house and will communicate the executive arm of government on the status of your agencies and your employment going forward or going backward. A member of the committee, Honorable Amadou Jaha, pointed out that nobody from the entire northeast region was captured in the recruitment carried out by the agency. This, he said, contributes to the upsurge of insurgency in the zone as opportunities that should be made public for all to apply for are hidden from the people. We are all aware what happened as a result of Boko Haram insurgency. And I don't want to believe you that nobody applied in the whole of Northeast if advertisements were made properly. In my local government alone, Goza, go and verify. We have more than 100 medical doctors, more than 50 consultants, and more than 20 professors in medicine. There is no way you can look at us as if we don't know what we are doing that nobody applied. Let me tell you one thing. If they are searching for sponsors of Boko Haram, they are searching for main causes of Boko Haram, your organization is one of them. Because one of the reasons why people join Boko Haram is because they have been shortchanged. One of the reasons why people join Boko Haram is because they don't have doing anything doing for a living. In another development, the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, has promised to appoint a new special aid amongst his class of 1999 of the law department from the University of Calabar who paid him a courtesy call.